Hey what's up guys welcome back this is Dinesh here and in this video I'll be explaining you what do you mean by this override notation in your main activity java class I'll strongly suggest all of you to please watch the app compact activity video before watching this video because after understanding what is app compact activity it will be fairly easier for you to understand what is this override notation now taking this example from the previous video let's assume you have this car on the left side representing your empty class car and you have an engine class on the right side which consists of two methods steering wheels and brakes now as we discussed earlier if you put the engine class inside the car class okay the car class can now inherit or the car class can now use the functions steering wheels and brakes that belongs to the engine class and this concept is called as inheritance now just assume after 2 years you decide you want to make some modifications inside your steering wheels and brakes just to make them far better than what they are right now so you will use some special tool with which you can open the steering wheels or with which you can open the brakes remodify it and close back these things again now this tool on which i'm pointing right now this tool is like your override notation now let me explain this with the normal main activity dot java code now guys if you look at this code over here in this code we have the override notation written exactly above the on create method now the on create method does not belong to the main activity class the on create method is basically defined inside the app compact activity class okay and it is basically been inherited inside the main activity class and as you can see in this method i'm basically initializing the text view button and the edit text so basically what i've done over here is inside this method that is the on create method which belongs to the app compact activity i have made certain modifications that is i've added some line of code of my own and whenever you want to add any lines inside any method we need to write the override notation now the good thing over here is you literally do not need to type the override notation by yourself every time you call a method which is basically inside some other class android studio understands that you are going to make some modifications inside this method now so it will directly write the override notation for you so just to revise this you will always find the override notation written on top of a method which is defined inside a superclass but is called inside a subclass okay in this case the app compact activity is the superclass and the main activity is the subclass similarly if you look at this method over here by the name of change code on top of this method you cannot see the override notation because this method is been declared inside your main activity class only so since this method is declared inside your main activity class you do not see the override notation in simple terms overriding basically means you are overriding or making modifications inside the existing method and adding some of the main functionalities that will help your existing class so i hope you guys would have understood what do you mean by the override notation in the meantime if you like this video please feel free to click on the like button at the bottom and as always if you want to learn android from scratch do hit the subscribe button thank you guys and i'll catch you in the next video